Good afternoon, YouTube family and brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Today is Monday, January 23rd, 2022, and I'm on my way to work. But suddenly, I was reminded of something that I wanted to talk about. So, take this journey with me. I was watching a YouTube channel the other day and this person I find myself watching a lot of her videos lately like she is just on it I gotta give it to her that's my girl um, she said something the other day that was just oh wow it was so profound she said some people they use their beauty you know their good looks their charm along with their beauty and all that other fancy stuff you know to benefit and they don't care who they hurt they don't care who they're stepping on they don't care about anybody's feelings Mm, 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 mm. But the thing about that is, is that she said was that we read what we sow. Now, I just, because I have experienced this before, many times before, where somebody thinks they're so much prettier than me that. How dare I look at somebody that is nice looking and with them standing there and uh, or you know uh, if they're standing there or no if they're not standing there and I meet somebody that is just good looking and just fun if they find out, they'll be like, they they might they might not say it, but they'll their mentality would be like, well, the only reason why you met him is because I wasn't there. Because if I would have been there, it would have been all about me. So you was lucky that day because I wasn't standing there. But I'm sure that if he comes around or she comes around, because cause it happens to both males and females. You know, you, the, you, you got the women that use their beauty and then you have men that use their handsome good looks to one up somebody else. And you know, that can be really, really hurtful and embarrassing. Especially when you got your eye on somebody and then they find out, you know, they find out that you have, you're interested in somebody and then they like, kind of like break their necks to uh, be seen by that person. To try and block. Yeah, there's some haters out there like that. And you know, my thing is, that's like what I was saying in one of my other videos. Um... Some people have everything that a person can want in life. But when you get something that God wanted to bless you with, and it's probably not even really a big deal to a lot of people, but it's a big deal to you. Those other people that have everything, they will have the audacity to catch an attitude and become irritable and just jealous acting like they don't want you to have anything they don't want you to have anybody they don't want you to have anything going on in your life you know they can have the husband or the wife they can have the job making buku money they can have a bunch of cars in their parking lot you know a car for every occasion Okay, and I'm talking about people in general. But I'm not talking about anybody specific. I'm talking about people in general. 
you know, they can have the finest clothes, the finest shoes, and just living the life, going on vacation every five minutes, going, you know, out of town every five minutes for a week or two, you know, even if it's two or three days, you know, they seem to have it like that where they can just get up and go whenever they feel like it. But let God come your way with a blessing. I don't even care if it's a new pair of shoes. Just one little new pair of shoes. And uh, those little shoes help you feel good about yourself. They make you feel confident and all that. They'll, you'll catch them. They'll be like, oh, I like those shoes. Where you get those from? Those are cute. Those are cute. I like those. Those are cute. And then you'll be like, oh, thank you. Thank you. You know, just a little something, something. You know, I haven't had any pair of shoes in a while. And I just, you know, I just kind of felt like I just wanted to step out and give me some new shoes this time. And then the moment you look away and you glance back. I want to say accidentally glance back, but it's not an accident. You glance back because God was showing you something. You catch them looking at you, cutting their eyes at you, hating because you got your new pair of shoes. But they got all this, that, and the other, and all those other things among that. But when you get one little thing, they hate it. I don't understand that. I just don't understand and it just like back to what I was saying um people like to flaunt and sauce say and traipse my mom used to like the words the uh used to like that word traipse and all around <laughs> I just love to hear her say that it was always so funny and sauce saying people like to sauce say and traipse all around you and yours when you got you a little man or something or maybe a girlfriend I don't even like talking about boyfriends and girlfriends anymore because I've given my life to Jesus Christ so if I'm talking about a boyfriend or a girlfriend I'm referring preferably to those that are not giving in to the temptation you know so that's neither here nor there. That's just how I feel about it these days. I really just feel like people are just doing what they want to do outside of God's will and thinking that it's justified and so many other people are following them. And I'm guilty because I have two kids outside of wedlock. You know, I wasn't always walking with the Lord. But again, I've given my heart to Jesus Christ now and it matters to me a whole lot more than it used to. I just wish I knew then what I knew now. Oh my goodness, I could have saved myself. When I saved myself, I could have been set free from a bunch of unnecessary stuff in my life. Nevertheless, what I was saying was, they do all this and that, trying to get your better half or, or, or your other half's attention because they can't stand to see that finally you got somebody and, um, you know, so... They can't handle seeing that, ooh, he put her on his arm around her. What? Why is he putting his arm around her? She thinks she cute. Okay, well, she thinks she's so cute. Let me go over there and toss, let me, let me toss my hair in his face. Or let me go over there and, oh, they got some music going. Let me twerk right quick. Let me twerk. Let me show them how I can twerk real quick. I mean, low key. Uh, subliminally letting them know that I really I'm the one that you should be looking at because this is the party's over here the party is over here you should bring that over here drop that zero and get with this hero and that's how they act but we reap hallelujah we reap what we sow and I'm so glad about it because when people do you it's funny it feels good it gives them a boost of their ego it makes them feel like you ain't all that because they are and all this that and the other but when it happens to them ooh, <laughs> it's not funny 
because it has happened to me before too it has happened to me before too i've done it i'm guilty of it lord forgive me i'm guilty of it like i said if i knew then what i know now i would have been you know kept from a bunch of unnecessary stuff that i went through in my life and the things that i went through and things that i put other people through that i had to read and some stuff i haven't even reaped it yet and that's scary but anyhow what i'm saying is that but when it happens to when 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 it comes back when the when the season for reaping that which we sow comes back around uh, it ain't so funny it's not so comfortable now huh now because people say in their minds they feel that they look prettier than you or they feel like you know the men look handsome more handsome than that person over there that man over there nevertheless the beauty is in the eye of the beholder so you might be thinking in your mind that you all oh, this and that and you look so good and you might you probably really do look good like that but the person looking at you might not feel that way and everybody that's looking at you you might be so used to everybody looking at you and giving you all these compliments and just sweating you and just all on you trying to get to get with you and to get to know you better but not everybody is going to be for you not everybody is going to be for you and not not only that you are not the most beautiful thing in this world you are not the most handsome thing in this world and so you might be able to compete with other people and shut them down you know what i'm saying and just take everything they got take all the people take all the attention that they got you might be able to do that but there's somebody out there that can come and literally snatch up all the attention that you're so used to getting and then then what then what um you can twerk oh that's sweet you can twerk that must be nice you can twerk you know how to show everybody that you can get loose that's basically what it is <laughs> you know gyrating you know doing something that god is probably looking at looking at you crazy but um yeah but what about those ones that can come and twerk it a little bit more than you then what it's not so comfortable then now is it now you can take my man and, and trust i i haven't taken anybody's men but i've gotten loose to the point where oh man i i i, I went behind people's back and did just you know sneaky little dirty stuff and that i say this humbly and, and, and not with pride because it is shameful and embarrassing and it's not something that i'm happy about you know but i can't take my past back but thank god he has delivered me from those things and i don't have to worry about it no more nevertheless you know i still think about the things that i did to people back in the day um and like i said I, i'm ashamed of myself and i don't feel good about it but it still is not going to stop me from saying, but when people come and do you, it's all right when, when they come and do you. But when you, or not even you, because they already, then, they didn't, in their mind, they didn't already cut you off. They didn't already shut you down. They already know they, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got nothing on them. So they ain't never got to worry about you. But let somebody else walk up in the room with a little hair a little bit longer hair a little bit more fine you know what i'm saying body banging a little bit more you know personality a little bit more fun loving than yours and then it's not so fun anymore now is it we reap what we sow there's a you know what i used to watch the movie poltergeist and that's you know i that is just has always been one of my favorite movies since i since I first saw that movie that was just one of my favorite movies and when I used to go to the movies I mean not to the movies but when I used to go to rent movies 
every time I would see that movie, I would rent that movie. That's one that I would always rent. I've got some other movies that I used to really, really like that I would just kind of rent on a regular because I just really like those movies. But I'm not here to talk about that movie. Uh, but I do want to talk about there's there was one scene in that movie that I love and that it makes sense to me and right now when i think about it it's like this is like the perfect time to um to talk about it because it it, it kind of reminds me of what i'm talking about the part in that movie where the the men were all at the the star the fit the star of the movies their house and they were all gathered together to watch i think they were watching a football game and something was going on with the remote control with their next door neighbor's house. So and the, the people at the neighbor's house, when they turn the channel, then it would turn the channel at the other people's house. <laughs> and then when they would turn the channel, it would turn the channel at their neighbor's house. So they was kind of like at a remote control war. Something there, somehow their remotes were connected. It was crazy. And then one of the guys, he said, show a little mercy with that thing, will ya? That was always my favorite part. So I guess the reason why I wanted to say that is because, like I said, they'll come around. You know, first of all, I don't really feel like I'm all that. <laughs> okay, so I could probably use a little bit of mercy sometimes. If somebody's looking at me, could you please, if you don't mind, I would appreciate it if you would just let me have my moment because, you know what, I would like to have somebody in my life too. I'm hoping to be married someday. I don't know if it's ever going to happen, but I'll keep hope alive about it. But, you know what I mean, can you show a little bit of mercy with that thing? Can you, like, show a little bit of mercy with all that beauty that you got and just kind of be humble? Because I see that when other beautiful women come around or I see when other handsome men come around you seem like you start going a little bit like you're you're you get a little bit haywire and a little bit fidgety and and you know like a little bit uncomfortable you know what i'm saying because i can see that you're not really dealing it dealing with it very well that okay this time it's not all about you so can i'm just saying you know can you show a little bit of mercy with that thing because i think that you would appreciate it if somebody would be merciful like that to you one time, this girl told me a long time ago. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. I ain't done. Hold on. Listen to what I'm about to order. Dang. I totally passed the whole... <laughs> the whole... Uh, thing where you make the order oh man i messed up and it's time for me to be going to work but okay i'll see if i can order it up here i totally messed up so anyway back to what i was saying one girl told me she was like you know what my boyfriend every time he sees you he always talking about you and he keeps saying how you pretty you are and how much he really really likes you and uh I'm so, I really, really like him, and I don't want him to try and talk to you. If he comes to try and talk to you, please, please don't, please don't talk to him. Please don't, please. I would, I, I would, that would really, really hurt me if you were to just go ahead and basically what she was saying was if I was to give him the satisfaction, that would just, that would just really, really hurt her. And you know what? I understood exactly what she meant. She was asking me to show a little bit of mercy with that thing. In other words, you know. And I understood that. Because sometimes, you you know, we need a little bit of mercy. You know? Sometimes, back, back. Let me have my moment. Okay? You got yours. Let me get mine. And quit trying to, you know, just trying to make sure you see that I ain't never going to have nobody. I ain't never going to have nothing in life. Because you're going to try to stop everything that comes my way. So, I wanted to just mention that. People, show some mercy. The Lord said if you if you show yourself merciful, he will show himself merciful. But merciful. But if you show yourself true, he will show himself true. Wait a minute. Oh, I think I really messed up this time. 
Okay, I'm going to have to get back with you in a minute. Peace.